What up everybody, it's your girl July from Youth On Record, and today I'm going to show y'all how to make a UK drill beat. How to start it, it's going to sound like this. Alright, let's get straight into it. First things first. Let's go over this piano. It's called Dusty Piano. That is the preset. So if you go into pianos, keyboards, pianos, Dusty Pianos, you'll find the preset that I used. All right. Next thing is the notes and what they look like. So this is the chords I played right here. We're using the C minor scale. So here we're on basicmusictheory.com and this is the C minor scale. I'll put it on the screen so that you can see what it looks like throughout the video. So this chord right here is a minor chord, a minor one chord. And this is a four chord. So we're starting with the fourth note and I transposed this last note. It was originally up here like this, but I brought it down an octave. And then this is a seventh chord. So we're actually using the harmonic minor not the natural minor. So that means these last steps, instead of it being like this, it's like this. And that's at the end of the scale. And the second half of this piano, dusty piano melody, I added some runs or like a riff over the top of it. And it sounds like this. I may edit it just a little bit. Pull this note back a bit. Gonna hold down command on a Mac to pull it back a bit. Let's turn off the loop point. So some of these notes can be moved. I believe I played this with the MIDI keyboard so the timing is off and I didn't do it a second time to make sure I got it better so we'll just move it here. Move that there. Let's play that one more time. And I'll delete that second one since it's what it was before I moved the notes over and quantize them a bit manually. Quantize meaning line them up with the grid or move them off the grid whatever you prefer for the specific melody you're working on. Okay, and then the next part I added is this anthem sound up here, this pink one, and that sounds like this. And this is hi-hat. So what this looks like, this is what it looks like on the drum sequencer. So normally when you're doing a UK drill pattern, the basic pattern is like this. Let's create a region here, edit notes, and you would go in, a zoom in, and your notes would be spaced out like this. Two spaces in between, two spaces in between, one space. So it's like a two, two, one pattern. Sound like this. And what I did was I added notes in between that basic pattern to get some more rhythm and rolls going. Now when you add notes in between, you want to change the velocity with this V feature right here. And if you pull up or down, you can do that. So if I add a note here, pull it down, change the velocity. And you can see that here, when I hover over them, hold it down, you can see the velocity 60. 45, and that is how hard or soft the note is being played. The originals are all the way up at 127, so the highest velocity you can get is 127. After the hi-hat pattern, I added this kick, and this came from samplefocus.com. So if you sign up for samplefocus.com, you can get five samples for free every day. This is what the kick sounds like. Next thing I added was the snare. 
Now with this snare, you gotta pay attention to where you place it. So it's not on the two and four, two, second and fourth beats like usually they are in trap or other types of hip hop. Now in order to get these drums here, rather than using the samples from the, the loop bank, the loop library, I added in my own samples. Now in this case, I drug them from my computer and dropped them in. So it's a drag and drop process. Once you download it, you can drop it in. If you're using a different computer that isn't a Windows or a Mac, you may have to import the sounds you want to use. So you just click on this import button, select the sound from the computer you're using, and you can import it and then place it, copy and paste it by right clicking, copy, paste it and move it wherever you need it to be. If you need to get it in a specific spot and it isn't letting you, like it's snapping to the lines, then you need to change the grid divisions. And you can do that by clicking on this cogwheel right here. And mine is at 132, which is the smallest division. You can also do some triplets by clicking on these. The next sound here, I'm gonna skip this one right here. This next sound is a choir, and it is a duplication of the chords we had for the dusty piano. There's just no spaces in between. It sounds like this. The next thing I added was a 808. Now this 808 came from the loop library, so it already has slides and everything on it. And it sounds like this. All right, and with everything, it sounds like this. Now when I picked this, I made sure to pick something that had the same key as the rest of my beat. If you needed to change it, you can right click on it and press transpose and it'll change it to the corresponding key that you select. Make sure it matches with your beat or probably won't sound right. Okay. Last thing I would like to show you is this subglide preset. Now if you use this subglide preset, you can make your own UK drill style bass lines. All right, it's called subglide and this is what a pattern I made sounds like. This is a basic pattern. All right, so you can also use that subglide preset and in order to find that You'll go into bass, guitar and bass right here, bass synth, and then subglide. That's what it's called. You can also just type it in to bring it up. Y'all let me know what you would like to see next. If you like this video or you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section. All right? Um, out. Go cook up.